Lucy Kids, welcome back to Sunday Worship. Today I want to share a Bible verse with you from Psalm 106, verse 1. Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love endures forever. Shall we all stand up and sing praises to our Lord? Thankful attitude, my heart gets filled with gratitude, and Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Every time I think of you, I get a thankful attitude, my heart gets filled with gratitude, and Lord, I thank you. Lord, you've been so good to me. Lord, I thank you. You are my help, you meet my need. Lord, I thank you. You were my strength when I was weak. Lord, I thank you. Your love and mercy rescued me.
Hey kids, welcome back to Children Worship. Hey John John, is everything okay? You seem a little bit upset. My little brother took apart a Lego set that I spent a lot of time working on. I am so angry at him. That's terrible. It never feels good when people wrong us, right? I'm sure you all feel the same way when someone bullies you, making fun of you, or simply just being mean to you. So what should we do? I think we should get even. Didn't the Old Testament in the Bible say, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth? Let's go! <clears throat> well, not exactly. You see, in the New Testament, Jesus wants us to do things differently. He wants us to live upside down. So let's take a look at what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 38 to 42. You have heard that it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. The verses we just read in Matthew is actually part of a bigger passage called the Sermon on the Mount. It was when Jesus went to the mountainside and began to teach everyone on how God wants us to live. And from this passage, we learned that even when people wrong us, that getting revenge or getting even just isn't God's way. But if someone wrongs us, they deserve to be punished, right? That's only fair. So what is God's way? Well, what did Jesus say in this passage? Jesus said, if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. It's slapping time. <laughs> Jesus also said, if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. I want your shirt. Okay. Wait. Take my coat as well. Jesus also said, if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. You, carry my bath for one mile. Uh, okay. Let's go. Thank you for carrying my bath for one mile. How about we do an extra mile? Okay. So, what does Jesus want us to learn from all this? Well, in today's sermon time, we're going to discover that we are to love others even when we don't think they deserve it. We're going to love others even if it costs us something important. And we are to love others even if we must go the extra mile. And we do this because this is exactly how Jesus loves us. Jesus came to give us more than we could ever imagine, even when we don't deserve it. Jesus went the extra mile to sacrifice his life by dying on the cross for all of our sins so that we can be forgiven. Awesome! So we're going to learn more about this during our sermon time. Today, Teacher Yvette will be teaching us. Take it away! Hi kids! Last week, we started talking about life upside down 
When you read the gospel and discover the teachings of Jesus, you begin to see that Jesus wants us to do many things that to our eyes appear to be upside down. As we saw last week, Jesus says that if we want to be the greatest, we must become the least. Instead of demanding that other people serve us, we need to be the servant of others, lending a hand and touching lives every chance we get with no thought of reward. Sounds pretty upside down, right? But how did Jesus live? He lived to serve others. The man described in the Bible as the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and the Mighty God lived to help the poor, the needy, the sick, and the outcasts. Jesus lived upside down, and that's what ultimately drew people to him. Today, we're going to see something that might seem even more upside down than the last will be first. We're going to talk about unfairness. We're going to talk about what happens when people mistreat us and push us around. We're all wired to expect fairness, and when fairness doesn't naturally happen, the world says we need to demand it. If someone insults you, you insult them back. If someone pushes you, you push back. If someone does something bad to you, don't get mad, get even. Can you guess how Jesus wants us to respond to all this unfairness? He wants us to turn the world's expectation upside down. When the world expects us to return evil for evil, He wants us to pay back evil with good. He wants us to bless those who curse us. He wants us to respond to unfairness with humility and love. Love your enemies! During the time of Jesus, Jerusalem was ruled by the Roman Empire. The Romans had invaded Jerusalem and they made life very difficult for many Jews. The Roman Emperor demanded that the people worship him instead of God. Roman tax collectors took the people's hard-earned money and Roman soldiers bullied anyone who disagreed. Throughout Jerusalem, the Romans were viewed as an enemy. They were hated. One day, Jesus sat down on a hillside, surrounded by his disciples and a large crowd of people. Many of those listening had seen firsthand how cruel the Romans could be, and they listened eagerly to Jesus' teaching. What would Jesus say about the people like the Romans? Would he say people should hate their enemies? Would he say they should get even with them? Much to their surprise, Jesus said that they should love their enemies. Jesus explained what this love looked like by giving some examples. First, he told the people, if someone slaps you on your right cheek, let them slap your left cheek as well. This would have been very difficult for the people to accept, but Jesus wanted everyone listening to understand something very important. Love doesn't take revenge. Love doesn't hurt others who have caused harm. Jesus gave the people a second example. If anyone brings you to court to take your shirt, let them have your coat as well. A person's outer coat was very important in Jesus' time. For example, the poor would use their coats as blankets to sleep in on cold nights. But Jesus wanted the crowd to understand that true love comes from a deep trust in God. Love will give away things of incredible value, even to those who don't deserve them. Next, Jesus said, If a soldier demands that you carry his gear for a mile, carry it for two miles. According to their law, Roman soldiers could force people to carry their heavy gear for one mile. People hated having to do this, and they would never think of going an extra mile. But Jesus taught the crowd that love always serves others, even enemies, with a humble heart. Love always goes above and beyond, doing more than expected. Jesus was letting the crowd know that they should love others the way that God loves them. Jesus explained that God was like a good father in heaven. God shows his goodness and love to everyone, even those who don't deserve it. Jesus reminded the crowd that God gives his very best gifts, like warm sunshine and nourishing rain, to everyone 
good and bad. Jesus challenged the crowd to love each other in the same way. Later on the cross, Jesus would become the perfect example of God's love. There, people hurt and insulted him, but he didn't take revenge or get even. Instead, Jesus gave away the most valuable thing of all, his own life, as a payment for our sins. Our Savior went the extra mile so that we could be free from our sin and live with God in heaven forever. God loved us first, even when we were sinners. It's amazing. And this is how Jesus says we are to love others. How many times a week do you catch yourself saying, it's not fair? How often do you find yourself in a position where someone you don't get along with pushes you around or puts you down? The easy thing to do, the thing everyone else does, is to strike back. We get revenge, we get even, we want fairness, and we're willing to do whatever it takes to get it. If we strike back, we're just like everyone else. We're no better than the person who called us a name or pushed us down. But if we respond to that person with kindness, with respect, and with love, what does that say about us? Some might think we're weak, but others will see we are far stronger than the bully who hurt us. Instead of getting paybacks, we will show the love of Christ to everyone who is watching. It may seem upside down to pay back evil with love, but living upside down is how we show other people the love of Jesus. Jesus lived in a very hostile time. The nation of Israel had been conquered a number of times over, and at the time Jesus walked the earth, they were under the rule of Rome. The people were living under Roman law, and one of those laws actually said that if a soldier told you to carry his pack for him, you had to do it for one mile. Doesn't matter if you had other plans, doesn't matter if that leaves you a mile out of your way. It's the law. Let's be honest. Our country has its share of unfairness, and there's been a lot of talk about changing the laws to make it a fairer place. That's not a bad thing, that's a great thing, and it's great when people come together to demand fairness from our government. But when it comes to the day-to-day, -to, -day, to dealing with kids in school or in the neighborhood, Jesus wants us to live upside down. He wants us to love our enemies. He wants us to treat everyone, even the kids we just can't stand, with kindness and respect. It's not going to be easy, trust me. Even as adults, we all struggle with this. We get mad every day when people are rude and selfish at work at the store and especially in traffic. But no one ever convinced another person to follow Christ responding to cruelty with more cruelty. When we pay back evil with good, we become the light of Christ to the person who mistreated us and anyone else who happened to be watching. The world will never be completely fair. We will never get along with absolutely everyone we meet. But if we make our plan ahead of time to show love and kindness to those who mistreat us, God can use us to spread the love of Jesus. Let's live upside down by loving everyone, even those who don't get along with us. Let's go the extra mile and turn the other cheek so our enemies know Jesus loves them. Let's close with a simple prayer. Dear God, thank you for your words. May you help us be like you so we can treat others with love and fairness. Help us be kind to each other and forgive those who might have wronged us. We pray for a good coming week for our family and friends. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye kids, have a great week.